welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all really well. I'm fine, thank you. Much better since COVID hit me once again. And so here am I uh, talking to you again and bringing you a video really, really and highly requested by you. That is showing you my wardrobe and uh, telling you how I organize my clothes. So first of all, uh, I have to say that my uh, wardrobe is from IKEA and it's called the PAX system. I think all of you know the, the PAX system from IKEA. It's considerably affordable and in my opinion is really good value for money. I have uh, this wardrobe mounted since 2017, so seven years now, and since then it's functioning pretty good, uh, no defaults. I think it's sturdy, I think it's nice quality. So this is the IKEA packs and in total mine measures 3 meters and I may say it's not perfect but it has a considerable size to keep my clothes. Of course I tend to separate uh, my clothes. In this closet I only keep the clothes that, I'm we that I wear on a daily basis and in a separate wardrobe, much more uh, smaller, I have my holiday clothes, so to speak. So beach wear, pareos, that kind of things. Because on a daily basis we don't need these things, I wanted to keep only the things I wear so that I can see everything I own. Uh, also, I switch my wardrobe twice a year. In Portugal we have a very defined four seasons, so in early spring, in the end of winter, early spring, depending on the weather, I change for spring-summer wardrobe, that is this one that you are going to see in a minute. And in late September, early October, I switch again for fall and winter. My fall and winter clothes are all folded in boxes in my attic. Uh, so in this closet uh, I have uh, almost all my spring summer clothing and also in another one I keep uh, all my long dresses, all my dresses and skirts. So this is the first glimpse of my wardrobe. Now I'm going to show you more closely and explain how I organize my clothes. So in this first part I kept uh, some shoes and some bags. I have uh, another part with all the shoes uh, that I own, but I own too many shoes and so I had to bring some of them for this part. Also all my biggest bags and basket bags in this part, together with some special bags and I have uh, the other ones in a separate drawer. Then, moving on to this part, in this part I have my blazers and my waistcoats. I like to separate my clothing by category and also within each category by color. As you see, I have my black blazers, grey, dark navy, blue, then my browns and camels, light beiges and whites and khakis here. This, the same thing happens with the waistcoats, white long waistcoat, this one and to the darkest one that is the black waistcoat. So that part is like that. Then I have uh, this drawer. Let me do a close up so that you can better see. So in this part, as you are seeing, I have my all. Oh, sorry, I have all my jewelry. This part is earrings, some necklaces, some Cezanne boxes with my earrings uh, over there also. I have this box with some rings, more fancy rings, my sunglasses, some hair clips. Uh, in, in this part I have rings and some more costume jewelry. Basically this is it. Then I have this drawer in, and in this drawer I keep all my jeans. Uh, I tend to organize them by color from the lightest ones, since this drawer has a glass, I uh, rather prefer to place uh, my lightest and ecru trousers. These ones are from Cezanne, these ones are from Mango, and I think these ones are old from Zara. And also these ones are also from Cezanne. In this first uh, part, I uh, have all my dark blue jeans. These ones are the 
medium wash uh, denim jeans and a light blue also a light wash denim jeans and in this part uh, I have uh, some browns, greys and also black uh, jeans. These pink jeans are also from Cezanne and these ones are uh, old from Zara that are kind of uh, paper bag, very relaxed vibe jeans. So moving on to uh, this part, let me do this to the camera. And in this part, um, we have these, these kind of hangers that pulls uh, out. And I have here all my uh, tailored trousers. Keeping them this way, they are ready to be worn. Also, again, organize them by colors. But right now, it's all uh, a little bit mixed. Uh, since it's from my latest video, I wore uh, some of these uh, trousers and then I get healed. Didn't have yet the time to organize them uh, again. So black ones, brown ones, khakis, uh, uh, navies, whites, linen whites. It's a little bit of everything. In each hanger, I have two pairs of trousers. As you are seeing, I have these ones in linen and in the front, these ones from Cezanne. I think you already know these trousers. So these are all my spring summer trousers. Almost all these trousers have the matching blazer. These pink uh, trousers are a set with this blazer. These linen trousers are a set with this blazer. The same with the black one, with the black linen blazer, uh, the white linen trousers, white linen blazer. So. That is all for this first uh, part. The next part is again closet with one meter width by 60 depth. And here is where I have all my shirts, button up shirts. Again, organized by color on the right beiges and whites, then grays and blacks, then some kind of colorful shirts. Moving on to the greens and then the blues. I also like to keep in my wardrobe some uh, knitted sweaters, mainly made in cotton. Nonetheless, I have two merino wool cardigans, the Bordeaux one and the Ecru one, that are the Betty cardigan uh, from Cezanne. And in that part over the glass shelf, I have some more knitted cardigans and two long knitted dresses in cotton that I rather prefer to fold because if I hang them, they will lose their shape. In the front, you are seeing some tops uh, in this part that aren't supposed to be over there, but I'm going on vacation and I'm uh, bringing already some uh, summer and beach wear to kind of choose whatever I want to bring with me. In this drawer, I have my scarves. On the left, you see my uh, cotton and silk scarves, smaller ones. And uh, on the right, I have bigger sizes uh, scarves that I tend to wear during summer as cover ups, even as tops. In this next drawer, I have uh, my black belts, thin belts, larger belts with gold buckles, silver buckles, you name it. I bought uh, this kind of organizers, as you are seeing, that separates the drawer in nine small squares. Kind of better organize and separate the belts, uh, but since I have more than nine black belts, in some uh, squares I have mo more than one belt. Then I have a basket and here I have my designer bags so to speak. I have my Chanel one in the front, in the middle I have the Milo bag from Cezanne and the other dust bag have my red one from uh, Lancaster Paris. So these are designer and non-designer but more expensive bags so to speak. Over there I have the other drawer that I just told you with my uh, lighter shades and colorful belts. So you are seeing my tan belts, gold ones, white, uh, beiges, uh, also burgundies and roses and blues and uh, whatever. Uh, you, you are seeing I have quite a good collection of belts, but I just love a good belt and I think uh, this kind of accessories completely changes uh, our outfits and uh, I love belts. Then 
I have two drawers, as you are seeing, with a glass front. In the first drawer, I keep all my tank tops. My These ones that we can fold uh, tops, tank tops, cropped tops, uh, that are perfect for summer, uh, by themselves, uh, under a linen shirt. I also have uh, in the back part a box with where I keep uh, some bodies. Again, organized uh, by colors. You see on the left, I have dark and black tops. And on the right, I have my browns, creams and whites tops. So, in the next drawer, I have uh, the rest of my handbags. I have the Natena over there, uh, some brown, dark brown, burgundies. So, the rest of my bags uh, I keep in this drawer. I have also another basket, as you see. And in this part is where I keep some things that transition from my fall and winter collection to the spring and summer. In spring, I still wore these shirts, but during summer, I rather prefer my linen uh, oversized shirts. So this, this is the other part the, uh, where I keep uh, the rest of my sandals and shoes. I have this box where I keep mainly my flat sandals uh, that because they are way too many to to be uh, organized like the other shoes and uh, you are here recognizing Paola Babis in burgundy my uh, Paola Babis in beige nude and my uh, sling bags from uh, Massimo Dutti in this uh, amazing chocolate brown really really beautiful I just love them and uh, some more shelves with lots of sandals way too too many sandals as you see i have way too many shoes but this uh, moment of my life i'm trying to curate my wardrobe the truth is i stopped buying uh, these more colorful sandals in the past i thought i needed a pink one a green one a blue one a yellow one but that is not needed at all they are uh, high quality sandals but i have way too many sandals i don't need that much they are occupying lots of space the truth is i don't even wear all these shoes uh, so bear in mind that i a content creator i have this uh, youtube channel for less than two years but i have an instagram page uh, since uh, 2019 and i've been creating content there for five years and so i have many things the brands uh, have sent me and uh, i bought myself to kind of uh, make uh, my content. Uh, nonetheless, I, as I'm saying, I really, really like and want to curate my wardrobe to focus on high quality fabrics, high quality materials. So this is because uh, the less things we have in our closets, you better see what you have. Uh, right now, I feel a little bit overwhelmed with all this amount of shoes, all these uh, colorful shoes that I don't wear, I don't need. I will Will for sure be either donating them or selling them. In general I tend to hang everything I can and everything that doesn't lose their shape like, like shirts, cotton and linen, silk shirts, trousers as you saw and the other things that can be folded like uh, denim jeans are in a drawer my tank tops are way too many to be hanged they are folded in a drawer and also knitwear pieces that they lose their shape so uh, as a content creator i'm really thinking kind of reduce the amount of things i own just keep things i like that bring me joy that i like to wear that i feel good wearing that are comfortable to wear Wear because as we grow older I don't know about you but as I'm growing older I don't like to wear uncomfortable clothes uncomfortable shoes so I hope you enjoyed today's video I hope you have a better glimpse of my closet that is always behind me in all my videos and again if you have any other question any other doubt that you want me uh, to explain or to show you Please uh, let me know in the comments, I will be more than happy to answer all your doubts, all your comments and thank you so much for all your support, 
for all your amazing comments, all your feedback. You are uh, always there and I feel very, very grateful. Again, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribe, 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 please. I just love that my channel is growing and we are uh, building this amazing community. So again, thank you so much and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye bye!